today we'll be making the eggplant or you can call it the aubergine amala so i'm using half of one i'm going to cut it up add just enough water I'll boil it till it's soft or soft enough. You check if it is ready. You have to be careful. It doesn't take much time to cook. So if you see now, it's, it, it's all um, breaking apart. So it's ready. Now you, you have to blend. It's either you use your hand blender. I'm going to use my... Um, I'm using my food processor. But you can use a hand blender. You can use your mortar to pound it. If you don't have a blender, you can use your... Just anything to blend it that you don't need to add water because you don't need to add water to this. When you're done blending, you turn it back into your pot. Add your psyllium husk powder. I'm just going to add a tablespoon. Uh, I'm just going to add a teaspoon. You put it back on the stove and stir until it gets to the, your, your desired uh, consistency. It's still going to harden when it cools down, so give it time. <laughs> I'm just enjoying turning this thing. <laughs> it's already, it's, it's okay, but man, I think it gives me pleasure to turn. So there you have it. Your eggplant or aubergine Amala, fufu, swallow. Help me out, my African people. That is why most times I like um, blending before I before I boil, before I do my fufu, so that I can take out the water. I can control the water content when you blend before you do the fufu itself but since this one is supposed to be like a amala that we know amala is supposed to be very very light you don't want to leave anyone behind in the pot no you don't not when you do this philos husk um, wahala you don't want to leave no prisoners behind you take all of them so there you have it your eggplant aubergine amala fufu swallow now you can eat it with your keto compliant soup but even if you're not on keto if you even if you're not on a ketogenic diet but you just want to bring down your habit of high carb eating you can try all those vegetable swallows for better health thank you